Hello everyone, back to today's first video in 5 Day Forecast for today's first video. So as always on a Wednesday, we have a detailed look at the weather for the coming five days. It's going to be cold. We're going to have more cold weather in the next five days. There will be snow, um, particularly focusing on tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and then through into Friday morning for the risk of uh, quite a significant snow event for some parts of uh, England and Wales. And uh, we're going to do snow watch this scene actually, so we'll look at that in depth in Snow Watch uh, be seen, but of course it will form part of the five-day uh, forecast. So I'll go with, with the five-day forecast for you uh, very shortly, just to say, coming up this afternoon, we'll have a regular week's 10-day video update, and then tonight, of course, as, well, as I've already said, we've got Snow Watch uh, coming up. Well, websites using for the five-day forecast coming from weatherapp.com and website.de. You can find links to both of those websites on the links page. So this is how the radar is currently looking from the weather outlook. So we've got snow showers across the northern western parts of Scotland, a few snow showers draped around the southwestern coast of Scotland, one or two through northwest England down to west of Wales, southwestern parts of England as well. But basically it's a dry day for most uh, central and eastern parts of the country. Uh, it's been dry through the morning. It will continue to be through the course of this afternoon. I know there's a covering of snow across some parts of Ireland as well. And uh, I've been sent to uh, quite a few snow pictures um, that I'm going to include in uh, the video coming up this afternoon uh, as well. So um, you sent your picture through. I'll try and get some of those in this afternoon's video. I may have to spread them out over the next two or three days because I do have quite a few. This is today's so actually pressure chart. So we're under a little bump of high pressure today. Actually, just a little bit of a transient ridge over country. The low pressure that's going to be bringing the snow tomorrow is uh, still developing out in the middle of the Atlantic Ocean. So for the rest of this afternoon, we're going to keep uh, snow showers going around those northern western face coasts. This area of low pressure here might just pep up the snow showers across the northern parts of Scotland and possibly ban them into a longer spell of snow for some northern parts of Scotland. And as I say, we have snow showers around those uh, western coasts of uh, western Scotland, northern Ireland, northwest England, northern west Wales and down into southwest England too. One or two rogue snow flurries are possible almost anywhere, but most places will have a dry and sunny uh, afternoon this afternoon, particularly in central and eastern Britain. It's going to be cold though, temperatures in the north just one or two degrees in the south, probably up to around five or six, but it'll be feeling cold uh, wherever you are. And very cold tonight. This area of low pressure is holding off until tomorrow, and with very light winds, it's going to be a perfect recipe for uh, a widespread and potentially quite severe frost. Could be the coldest night of the winter so far. So as soon as it gets dusky, you're going to find temperatures doing a plummet and uh, a frost will very quickly set in this evening. And then a widespread hard frost developing across much of the country tonight. Snow, sho snow showers again peppering northern and western facing coast, but most places will be dry. Um, temperatures widely going down to minus 5 or lower. Some of the snow fields in the north could see temperatures going down to minus 10. Minus 10 is 14 Fahrenheit, and I say it could well be one of the coldest nights of winter. By the end of the night, we'll find snow arriving across parts of Ireland as this area of low pressure gets ever closer. But Northern Ireland will remain dry, cold and frosty. So that's a setup for tomorrow. Low pressure's out to the southwest of Ireland and southwest England. It's throwing up a weather front into the UK, running into that cold air. It will be bringing the risk of uh, heavy outbreaks of snow. So we'll start the day on Thursday, mainly dry, but with a widespread and uh, locally quite severe frost. Much of the north and east will stay dry through the day with sunny spells, probably turning hazier through the course of this afternoon. But cloud and rain across the far southwest of England with snow through Ireland will gradually start to extend north and east. So through the afternoon, much of Wales will uh, find outbreaks of snow developing and that snow will then spread down into some central southern parts of England and Wales. In the far southwest, probably primarily rain, but there could be some sleet or snow mixed in for a while. Um, but it probably does turn back to rain in the extreme southwest. A few snow showers again are possible for parts of Scotland and uh, northeastern parts of England. It's going to be a cold day tomorrow. Temperatures in the very far southwest might reach around six or seven degrees, but basically we're looking at ones, twos, threes for much of the country. And as that southeasterly wind begins to freshen across uh, the UK, it is going to start to feel increasingly cold and bitter. 
And then overnight through uh, the course of the Thursday night into Friday, we're going to find this area of snow pushing northwards and eastwards to other parts of England and Wales. The northern extent of this is causing a lot of uncertainty. It looks like somewhere kind of like mid-Wales to the wash is probably going to be the northern extent it might get to the north midlands so outbreaks of snow extending northwards and eastwards across central southern parts of england and wales could give up to 10 centimeters of snow over high ground that's four inches around five centimeters likely at uh, lower levels that's a decent covering of snow a couple of inches through um, much of lowland britain on the south coast and down to the southwest of England, probably more rain or sleet, uh, but as snow is possible for a while, even on the south coast, before it turns back to rain, probably later in the night. Uh, Northern Ireland, Scotland, uh, I think this snow struggles to get that far north, so those areas probably staying cold and frosty, although some snow might threaten Northern Ireland for a time. Uh, it's going to be very cold in the north on uh, Thursday night with temperatures again probably going down uh, close to minus double digits up there. Further south, temperatures hovering around freezing. It won't be as cold because of all the cloud uh, with the snow, but it's uh, going to be a cold enough night, I can assure you of that, with the wind in from the east. Then we move through to Friday, we find this low pressure slipping away to our south, pulling down these cold north or northeast winds. So we start Friday, probably still with some snow left across parts of the Midlands, East Anglia, southeastern, central southern England. That pulls away into uh, the North Sea during the course of the day, with brighter skies edging down from the north and the west. So we probably end Friday with some sunny spells, although snow showers still keep going in the north and increasingly running down the east coast. In fact, we might get a longer spell of rain, sleet or snow close to the east coast by the end of Friday afternoon. Temperatures look cold, so uh, barely above freezing where we've got snow on the ground, otherwise 2, 3, 4 degrees, something like that. It will be a cold day and feeling so in that north to northeasterly wind. That's Saturday. We're starting to edge high pressure in from off the Atlantic on Saturday, but we may have some wintry showers or probably mostly snow showers down the east coast. And there is a chance of another sort of pulse of snow perhaps running across more southern southeastern counties. So I um, have to keep an eye on that. It's quite uncertain at the moment, but something might develop around the channel uh, on Friday night first thing into Saturday morning. The basic trend through Saturday will be to turn things drier from the west as that ridge of high pressure begins to build in. It'll be a very cold day on Saturday despite probably fairly decent sunny spells. We'll be seeing temperatures no more than around 2 or 3 degrees in most parts of the country. And uh, there will be a severe frost on Saturday night as well with temperatures once again probably dipping into minus double digits. Through into Sunday, and this high pressure is beginning to slip a little bit to the southeast, starting to allow some low pressure to move in from off the Atlantic. Sunday starts with a widespread and severe frost. Temperatures could be down to minus 10 or lower over snowfields up in the north. Much of England and Wales will have a dry day on Sunday with sunny spells, but cloud and outbreaks of rain will start to move into Scotland and Northern Ireland probably turning readily to snow as it bumps into the cold air across Scotland. Temperatures, again, after that very frosty start, are going to really struggle, possibly up to 3, 4, 5 degrees. But in the northwest, actually, as it turns cloudier and wetter and the wind picks up, it will feel uh, very cold. And then we go through into Monday. We're very close to another snow event on Monday as this low pressure is coming in across the country. We've got to keep a close eye on it. There'll be cloud and outbreaks of rain in the north and west spreading southwards and eastwards as it mixes out in the atmosphere we could start to find sleet or snow uh, developing with this before probably turning back uh, towards rain but again very uncertain what's happening there on monday eventually brighter skies follow along behind it so it's a little bit milder in the west temperatures probably going up to around seven or eight degrees but in the north and the east probably still staying very cold at just two or three degrees celsius and then of course we'll extend out beyond the five day forecast period with today's second video update
Finally, just have a look at the charts from where outlook. So lots of dry and sunny weather coming up today, but it will be cold. There's snow showers in the north and around those uh, western facing coasts as well. But a lot of dry weather for many of us into Thursday. And again, many northern eastern parts of the country will be dry but very cold, except for snow showers. Then we've got this snow into the southwest, so Wales, parts of southwestern England turning. Uh, snowy through the course of the afternoon, turning back to rain in the extreme southwest, and then through the course of Thursday evening, this snow gradually extends northwards and eastwards, giving the risk of significant and quite disruptive snowfall across uh, parts of England and Wales on Thursday evening. And into the start of the Friday, we see more snow here across England and Wales. Again, rain down across the far south and southwest, but significant snow through some parts of England and Wales into Friday morning. Before it all clears away into the North Sea, just keeping snow showers running down these eastern coasts. Most places turning dry, but Friday will be a very cold day. More snow flurries and snow showers possible down the east coast on Saturday. Uh, may have some sort of uh, longer spell of snow down in the south to begin with on Saturday morning as well. Otherwise, a lot of dry weather, very cold, severe nighttime frost over the weekend. Into Sunday, again, another very cold day. Cloud and rain beginning to move into the north and west and probably turn into snow as it hits that uh, uh, that uh, uh, cold air that's sitting across the country. And then as we go through into Monday, we find cloud and outbreaks of rain pushing down across the country. Again, it's running into that cold air, so there is a chance that some of it might turn to snow. It's very much on a knife edge, whether it'll be rain or snow, but um, we'll keep a close eye on it anyway. Eventually becoming a little bit milder out in the west by the end of Monday. And that takes us, of course, to the end of the 5 day forecast bid, and we'll extend out beyond that for today's second video update. So, in summary, a cold five days to come. There's going to be snow around. We're starting cold today with snow showers in the north and west. Significant snow moving in off the Atlantic for parts of England and Wales later on Thursday through Thursday night and into Friday morning. Then after that, the weekend, Friday, later Friday into the weekend. Lots of dry weather, but it'll be very cold. There'll be some severe night frost, and there could be snow showers running down the east coast. Rain or snow late Sunday and into Monday, and they start to get a little bit milder out in the west. And we'll pick up uh, beyond the Friday forecast period for today's second video update, so come back to that later on this afternoon. That's all for now. Snow watch tonight, of course. That's all for now, and thanks for watching.